Okay, here's a quick uh, video on how to configure Touch OSC uh, for LSC Clarity. Now, if you go into the options section, this is so that the um, the OSC app will connect to the uh, Clarity system on your laptop or computer. Make sure that you're um, you go to the OSC connections. Make sure it's enabled. That you've got the host IP address. The host IP address is the computer that's running Clarity. So you make sure you put that address in there. The port outgoing, I've made mine 9000 and the incoming 8000 and these my local IP addresses you can see listed at the bottom of that. Now you have to make sure that both the laptop and the uh, iPad are on the same IP, uh, in the same IP range which is as you can see um, and then when you're over here on the computer we go into the computer's settings over here I'm just recording this on my iPhone, but this is just so you get an idea. Go to settings, touch OSC settings, open up the touch OSC window. Over here you can see the outgoing port will be 8000, the incoming port 9000, and then the IP address of the client, which is the local IP address of my uh, iPad, as you can see. So that way it will connect to it. Once you've done that, those settings should be right. Let's go OK. The way to test it, I guess, is, which is the easiest way, is you go to the list. When you press the first group, any of the groups that it will select, it will populate the list. So right now when it's at um, normal default mode, it will just have groups listed on each of those buttons. But once uh, you connect to one, it will list up all the groups. So as you can see, if I press all movers, all movers on there. If I press that, that'll select all movers. As you can see, they've all been highlighted. Okay, none. It'll take it away. All colors. It'll select all colors. And that also translates into the programmer page. You can see them being selected. If I go none, there'll be none. If I select them again, all movers. All the mover groups are selected. I hope that'll help. Okay, so I'm showing you how Touch OSC works with um, Clarity. So this is Clarity 2.0 that I'll be running, which is running over here on this machine. As you can see, I'm going back here, and it's playing through the uh, Magic 3D Viewer, Easy View. Um, so this is how it works. If we select all movers, so all movers, which in theory should select all the movers. Yeah. And if I go change the screen to the command prompts, command controls, then if we go to the screen, if I press all form, you'll see all the lights come on on the editor, as you can see here. Now if I go to the next part and try to control the movers, you'll see that they can be controlled through this. You can see they're moving. There's a, there is a bit, a bit of delay, but it's good for at least programming side of it all. So it works pretty well.